Hey YouTubers, how you doing? This is Trey Willis, Treve Willis, um, coming back to you. Um, wanted to talk to you guys about minivan wheelchair vans, uh, ADA vans, however you want to call it. Um, we used to do a lot of the um, high top vans, the turtle top vans, but my company no longer does those anymore. And there's nothing wrong with those at all. It's just whatever fits your scheme and whatever fits your um, makeup of your company is what you roll with. Um, if you're gonna be doing a lot of the nursing home facilities, then a high top total top van pretty much would be beneficial because a lot of times when you're transporting people to dialysis from nursing homes and nurse skill nursing homes, uh, there is there could be several people there that may go to dialysis at one time. One may have an appointment at 10, one may have an appointment at 10, 20, and then that's where you utilize your high top turtle top vans for multiple people. But with the scheme of my company, um, we do a lot of private pay individuals. Um, we do a lot of uh, workers' compensation to where we only transport one person at a time. But the question that was asked to me how do you do you what what should i buy should i buy a side entry minivan or a rear loader rear entry minivan um and to be honest with you they both have their pros and they both have their cons okay so as i am standing out here right now um with my van i am um this is my this is my older van it's a 2006 uh dodge green van caravan um, this is a rear entry van right here, as you can tell. And I typically like the minivans better because of the fact uh, they're cheaper to work on and the air conditions are um, a lot better for is the other vans with the air conditions in the ceiling. These, to be honest with you, they cool better. Uh, now, the longevity of the um, high top vans they can go a lot longer. They can go up to about five, six hundred thousand dollars if you're changing your oil. Excuse me, not five hundred six thousand dollars. I'm so goofy right now. Five hundred six thousand miles if you change the oil and you do all your proper maintenance on them. However, with the um, the rear entry vans, you know, and the side entry vans, um, they typically have a lifespan of about three three hundred and fifty thousand um, miles and everything like that. However, with the rear entry vans the thing i like about those is whenever you're dealing with a client or dealing with a patient that has a longer wheelchair that has a recline back this is the kind of van that you would want to utilize because simply because if you start transporting someone in a side entry van and they have a longer chair and their legs have to extend up a lot longer it's going to be hard to get them inside the van and it's going to be hard to turn them not saying it can't be done but it it's just going to be a lot more work on you you know trying to you know move the seat up in the front and trying to change um turn the person and then locking them in but the quality thing about this is this van is you can just roll them up in there and you can strap them in okay another thing another pro um with the side entry uh minivan is the fact is if you don't have a wheelchair bound client and let's just say you have a ambulatory client but the client is overweight excel how i like to classify it let's just say they weigh about you know 390 and they're wide if you're trying to put them inside of a rear entry van it may be harder for them be simply the fact the seats are higher and it's hard for them to um, get positioned in the seat behind the front two seats and also there's not a lot of space in the rear entry vans for a bariatric client to really be comfortable but the side entry vans they have no middle seat because it's designed to have uh, designed for a wheelchair to be uh, strapped in and locked in in place in the middle so if you don't have a wheelchair on board and you have a um bariatric client they could walk up the ramp and then they could sit on the um back bench seat and then they're, they're secure with their belts on and they're fine that's the thing i like about the side entry vans but they both have their pros and cons 
So if you're going to be in the NEMT industry or if you're already in the NEMT industry, I would just recommend, this is my recommendation because this is what's worked for me. I would recommend diversifying your fleet, having some ADA equipped vans that are side entry and having some ADA equipped vans that are rear entry. Not saying that, you know, you can't use one or the other for, you know, hey, the longer wheelchair or the bariatric client, but it's just gonna be a whole lot harder to do. So that's my recommendation. This is what worked for me. Um, it's worked for me over the years. And by being in this business for, you know, a certain amount of years, I have seen how things, you know, are a little bit more difficult with some of the um, trips we do. And, you know, so it's beneficial to have one or the other, you know, this van have a fleet of side entry, have a fleet of rear entry, you know, that's just my recommendation. Now for is the, like I stated, for is the high top vans, we don't have any more um, because like I said, we're doing workers' compensation and we're doing private pay. We have a big private pay base here in Raleigh, Durham area. Um, I would just recommend, you know, if you're gonna be using the high top vans, the turtle top, you know, you're gonna be um, doing it for nursing homes and, you know, multiple people at one time and, um, you know, our big groups and things like that. Um, the thing about the high top, turtle top vans is, um, you're gonna have to find somebody that's a specialist to work on the air conditions in the rear and the ceiling. Um, and um, it's, you know, you're gonna have more issues with the, um, oh my God, tie rods and you know, ball joints and stuff on the bigger vans. But they're all good vans, um, not knocking one or the other. They just all have their pros and cons. So just wanna give you some advice. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day in the transportation world. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. You guys have a wonderful day and be blessed.